guys can do this one. It's a lot of fun. You it's can do this one. It's, it's an open D. It's, it's an open D. It's an open D drone. Cape it's away on the seventh D fret. Cape away on the seventh D fret. <laughs> and you guys are going to love it. The opening melody. Music method. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> Come on in, everybody. Today we are doing Rodney Crowell, or is it Crowell? Bluebird wine. Rodney <clears throat> Crowell. Guys, if you have not seen it yet, I'd be surprised if you're at this what, at this site and haven't. But go check out Hartmorn Highways. That's that cool yeah, documentary with with Towns Van Zant and all these other guys. And this is taken from a scene in that film where Rodney is jamming with all the guys in drunken revelry. It's kind of hard to hear what's going on with all the guitars, but this opening riff is mm -hmm. awesome. You guys are going to love playing it. It's not easy, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step, and you're going to impress all your friends because it's super cool. And if you're a beginner, check out up here. Can you point up here, Fee? To my... The, over here. <laughs> no, wrong way. To the Travis Picking playlist, because this is not a beginner piece. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, even if you're, if it's uh, out of your, you know, range and a little bit hard for you, don't worry. We're gonna go very slow, yeah, measure by measure. If you're a more advanced player, you can jump. Use the timestamps down below. I do slow runs of the entire song at the end of the video, so you can jump ahead. But for all you people that this is gonna be a challenge, and I think that's gonna be most of you, I'm gonna walk you through it. So let's do it. Thank you, Dusty. Did I say this already? This song was sponsored by Dusty. Dusty, you're going to nail this song. Everyone thank Dusty for sponsoring this song. Let's do it. <laughs> Mike's music method. <laughs> thank you, guys. Dad. Boom. Tuning. We are in drop D with the capo on the 7th fret. Once you do that, make sure you retune with the capo on. When you're up that high, you're definitely going to get what I call capo pinch. Things might be sharp, might be flat, so retune when you get that capo on the seventh fret. We got measure one. Man, you guys are in for a treat. Real quick note, actually, before we do the measure, it's really important to remember that the thumb is just banging out quarter notes the whole time. I mean, here, I, I wrote the timing difference, so I guess they're technically eighth notes, but however you want to think about it, the thumb is doing even beats, and it's da da bum 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 Bum, ba, dun, dun, dun. So sometimes it's helpful to just like be able to hum the melody while playing the rhythm before you even try to play it. So you're realizing like where, where in that phrasing it is. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 up. Down, or whatever it is. <laughs> I did it right the first time. So that's helpful just to realize like where those melodic notes are. Are you going to pinch them with the thumb or are they in between on the upbeats? Really actually practice that. Don't just move on with the video. Make sure that feels good. It's going to make this a lot easier. So we are sliding from five to seven. Already this is confusing because your five is technically your 12th fret. So it's your double dot. And if you don't have a cutaway guitar, you're really reaching there. So we're pinching that drop D six and two at the same time, and we're sliding that two from five to seven. Then we're pinching again, right back on the five. Then we go down to three, and we're pinching again, six in the second string. But then right away, I'm hitting the second string again on the second fret. So if you just look at the second string, this is our run here. Five to seven, or sorry, five to seven, back to five, then a quick three, two. But it's pinch, pinch back on five, pinch on three, but then a really quick two after that pinch there. And now Rodney in this song is doing a lot of pointer finger work, and that's fine. You can also al alternate between your pointer and your middle. Right pointer, middle, or middle pointer, whatever works for you. So real slow, three, four. And then end with the thumb again. So we got three, four. Make sure you got that part before you go on. We only did the first half of the first measure, but it's tricky stuff. Now we'll keep going after we did that open. Then we do the fourth fret on the third string. So it's sixth string to the third, and I got the fourth fret. And 
that's a six, three, six. Then I pinch the second fret there on the third string. So I'm pinching six and three are the strings, but I got the second fret down, so it's. The end of that measure, I'm doing the second fret on the fourth string, and it's thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer. I know this is a lot of info, so let's go slow from the beginning of the measure. Three, four, slide when you pinch, pinch again, pinch again, quick second fret, then open is alone there, then I go to the fourth fret on the third string, then I pinch on the second fret there, and thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer. So let's do the second half here from the open to the four, three, four. parts feeling good separate now we'll put them together three four three four super important to remember that that thumb is just always doing the downbeats Measure two, we kind of just came out of that. So we got thumb alone, and then we're pinching the sixth and the fourth string, and I'm doing the fourth fret there. So. Then I go to the, the third string on the fourth fret, so I'm just moving that fourth fret down. So thumb alone, pinch the fourth string, thumb alone to the third string fourth fret. And then here I'm kind of like prepping, a, it's a D chord, I'm doing the third fret and the second. I'm just kind of getting them both ready because I'm gonna do six to the second string on the third fret, six, and then the G string, and it's the second fret there, that A, so. The frets are three, two, and the strings are D, G. So let's take it from the top of the measure, three, Four, thumb, pinch, thumb, and thumb, and thumb, and. So a lot of melodic movement there. We got four on the fourth string, down to four on the third string. And I'm doing my middle finger to get the third fret on the second string. And then my pointer finger. So one more time, it's four, four, three, two. And there I'm holding those down kind of like as if it was a D sus two chord, because we'll get that open note in a second, but. Now all together with the thumb, three, four. One more time, three, four. It's thumb, pinch, thumb, and thumb, and thumb, and. Now let's finish the measure. Go back to the thumb, and then it's open on the first string. Back to the thumb, and then the second string. Still the third fret there. Back to the thumb. So the ending there is. A lot of back and forth. Actually, this whole whole second half of the measure. Third string, first, second. Do the whole second measure real slow. Three, four, thumb, pinch, thumb, and thumb. So besides that beginning pinch, everything is thumb and thumb and thumb and thumb and three, four, pinch, thumb and thumb. Let's do those first two measures, and this is really the coolest part of the song, and you almost are, you kind of already got it. We'll just do it real slow from the top. Two, three, four. I 
played that really smooth and legato. In the recording, um, you know, it can be a bit punchier. Uh, whoops. Yeah, the only part I'm really doing legato is the, the ending there. Otherwise, it's pretty short. I'm not worrying about any of those being legato. They're pretty punchy. And those are smooth. I guess that four, that first four I'm letting ring out. Short, 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 long, short, short, short. That's one's long too. Short, long, short. So there actually is quite a bit of nuance in there. So once you get it down, you can really pay attention to how it's punchy, and maybe that would be helpful just doing the melody alone. Really awesome, guys, you did it. Rest of the song is way easier than that, kind of, for the most part. Boom, let's start the verse here, measure three. Later in the tab, remember tabs are free to download, mikesmusicmethod.com, but later in the tab in measure 16, there's kind of an alternate um, version you can do. It's really hard to hear on the recording, that heartworn highways, I mean, how many guys are jamming on their, on their guitars in that smoky, drunken room? So it's hard to know what exactly Rodney is doing, um, so I gave you a couple different options here is the first one in measure three It's basically like you're playing around with that D chord. It's like a D sus. I'm just lifting my middle finger there And you put it back down D sus to D and so this is what it sounds like Let's do that so measure three I'm gonna pinch six two and three all at the same time Then I'm pinching six, one, and two. And I got the D sus, that middle finger is not there, so it's open on the first string. And then I pinch those those top two strings again with six, but now the finger is down, so it's two and three, one and two, then one and two with the middle finger down. Then thumb alone, back to two and three, and thumb alone. So from the beginning, does the same thing here, pinch six, one, and two, put the middle finger up, put it down and pinch again, then really quickly I go to um, the two and, two and three there. So it's the sus, put the chord down, and then quickly just those two fingers on the second and third string. Then back to six alone, then back to two and three. And now measure four is basically the same thing, but that opening pinch isn't there because we just hit two and three on the upbeat. So now there's no opening pinch, it's just thumb alone, but then the rest of the measure is exactly the same. So don't let that confuse you. Um, so if we do measure four, it's thumb alone. And it just keeps repeating measure four. So for measure four, real slow, three. Four. Pinch, finger down. Repeat it. And it repeats. Really cool, huh? Boom! Really quick, we're going to jump all the way down to measure 16 in your free tab that you downloaded at mikesmusicmethod.com. Here's the alternate version, because again, I can't tell what guitars are doing what. Pretty darn similar. Here I'm not doing the sus chord, and the rhythm this rhythm's slightly different. Again, I, don't, I can't tell what the, which guitar is doing what here. But now it's just a D chord. Pinching six, one, and two, six, two, and three, six, one, and two, then go immediately to two and three. It's really cool, 
whole sound. It's hard to do it as fast as he's doing it. So from the top again, pinch, 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 then the quick one, then thumb alone, top two, thumb alone, then we're pinching six, two, and three, pinch six, one, and two, really quick two and three, thumb alone, back to the highest two. And then here, 17 is exactly the same as 16, except there's no pinch at the beginning, because we just played those two notes, so we're letting that sound ring. We just play the thumb, and then the measure is the same as before. So let's do 17 slow. Three, four. Then I repeat 17. And 17 would just repeat the entire verse if you choose to do this uh, alt version of it. Donation pitch. I think you all know how this works. It's called the value for value model. I want to keep these videos free so 12 year olds, 13, 14, whatever kid out there, whatever teenage kid wants to learn these awesome songs, they can just go onto their YouTube and learn them without a paywall. Unbelievable. And to all you people hard on times who might not be able to afford it right now or just can't prioritize guitar lessons in their life, you still have access to this channel. But those of you who can pitch in, maybe it's well, it's the value for value model, so you get to decide. Every time you learn a song, maybe you throw me 40 bucks. Maybe you're giving 50 bucks a month. Maybe this is like guitar lessons for you, and you're giving me 150 bucks a month, or it's five bucks a month with a cup of coffee. I don't know, but it's a value for value model. The more you guys pitch in, the more time you are giving me to work on this instead of doing other work, and it's like a charitable thing. You give Mike money, and Mike makes more videos, and it's free for everybody. So when you give, you're helping all these people out there learn these awesome songs. And I won't, I won't be falsely uh, humble here. I feel like these are some of the best tabs and detailed lessons on the internet for these awesome songs. So I give myself props for that. But I, I, and, and if you guys <laughs> the, the, look at me, I feel weird when I talk about myself, but I don't want to tell, sell myself short. These tabs are amazing, guys. I, I spend a lot of time... This is like, I'm not good at many things in life, but I'm pretty darn good at figuring out these finger pick songs. And so I'm giving you the best value I possibly can give. And I'm asking that you guys just return it with some value back. It's that simple. I want to keep these free always. The tabs are all free to download. Nobody does that. How many people don't have a paywall when they're giving really accurate tabs out to the world? You could try to find these tabs on Ultimate Guitar and chances are it's going to be a train wreck. It won't be accurate. No one's telling you how to do it. And my rant. You guys get it. Please understand the value for value model and contribute a little coin or a little talent or a little treasure or at the very least write me an encouraging email because those go a long way in motivating me knowing that people out there are really learning and getting genuine value from the channel. And I've had too much coffee as usual and I'm talking way too fast. Let's keep going with the song now. Woo. That is the bulk of the song. We just got the chorus here and then a goofy little ending. So the chorus is, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really um, get the microscope out here. So if you feel like you're a good strummer, you can probably just skip right ahead. But it is, the pattern is a little tricky. So we're gonna spend a moment on it here. It's basically a G chord, but we're not playing the lowest note because we're drop D. So we just got second fret on the fifth string and third fret on the first string. I'm just playing it like a G chord, but not doing the lowest note there. And the rhythm we have is one, two, three, and four. And then we go to a D chord. So we got one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and. And so on the last and, we go back to a G. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and. It's back on that G chord on the and of four. One more time, three, four. Now here's where it gets tricky because in measure six, we're holding that and and we miss that first beat. So it was one, two, and three, and four, and miss two, three, and four. All right, so we, we have to make sure we're including that miss in, in every other time but the first time that we do it. So let's take it from five nice and slow. I'll count it. Three, four, the G chord. One, two, three, and four, D. And 
And then for measure seven, we have the miss, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, and miss, two, three, and four. Then in measure eight here, when we go to the D, there is no miss. We just got one, two, and three, and four, and then into measure nine, one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and measure ten one more time, one, two, and three, and four, and. Now I know, again, if you downloaded the, the you can go to flat.io, and you can get the sheet music with it too, not just the tab, and if you notice, I know it's actually like one, um, one, and a, one, and a, two, e, and a, but it's way easier to just count in quarter notes. You know what I mean? Double time, whatever, half time. Don't worry about that. Just kind of listen. Use your ear. Don't We, we don't need to be precise about the numerical uh, label of all of it. Um, so again, we just end on a whole bunch of Ds. And it's just one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So let's try that again before we do the little tag at the end of the chorus. So for measure five, we've got one, two, three, four, one. you guys get it if not slow down write down those numbers really take your time getting the pattern before you try to put it all together the end of the chorus we get this cool little tag in measure 10. this one's a little tricky i'm not even going to give you the numbers i'm just going to give you the strum pattern i think it's easier to think about it's a c chord and we're doing down up 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 down up 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 then we have a down down at the end but we go to the g chord So it's all C's except for the second to last beat is a G chord and then a C. So again, the pattern is down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, down. And those final downs are the G back to C. Let's try it again. Three, four, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, down. One more time. Three, four, down, up, up. up to speed. It has a really cool kind of stuttery uh, rhythm to it that I like a lot. Oh, we're almost there. Whew. So the song, that's, that's it. Then we go back to the um, cool little riff, whatever it is, and then back to the um, another verse and another chorus and then let's do the ending here in measure 19 we got this crazy coda guys and it happens on the fade out so it's super hard to hear and I might be making it more complicated than it is but it's real cool what I came up with anyways even if he's not doing it so we're still banging away that thumb the whole time but we got a lot of really cool work here play it once for you guys it but we'll get it faster and I'll learn it better too as I teach it to you so we're pinching six and one and we got the fifth fret down on that first string and we're going right away to the second string third fret so pinching six and one I got the fifth fret down and I'm doing the third fret on the second string so I'm doing thumb and middle and then right to the pointer then I'm pinching six and one again but I'm doing the third fret moving my ring finger down I got ring here on five and I'm moving my ring down to three then I kind of go to like a D chord and I'm pinching six and one but now I got the second fret down on that string then immediately to the B string and that's the third fret so again it's like a D chord and there let me do it again so pinch off pinch again on three pinch again on two and then off to the second string there then six alone and then here I'm hitting the second fret on the third string and I'm hammering it to the fourth and right when I hammer that third string at the exact exact same time that I hammer I'm hitting the sixth string with my thumb 
So I hit the third string with my pointer, then a hammer, and hit the sixth with my thumb at the same time. And that's going to take a lot of practice, especially in the context of the passage. And then right after we do that hammer and hit the thumb, then I'm hitting the, th the fourth string open with my pointer finger. Then I'm pinching six and three, and it's back to the second fret on, on the G string. So hammer two to four, hit the thumb, third string, and I'm pinching thumb and middle here to get back to the third string. Sorry, it should have been the fourth before. Look at your tab. <laughs> there's too many numbers, I know. For a while I was saying E, B, G, but believe it or not, there's a ton of guitar players that don't know the names of the strings, and that was confusing them. I can't please you all, I apologize. So from the top, real slow. Three, four. One more time. Three, four. Now it seems easier. Get that down before you move on, because it's hard. Let's end that measure now that you've practiced a bunch. We got like a little triplet here. So what I'm doing is pinching six, the, the E and the D string, six and four, and I'm on the fourth fret there on that D string. And we've got a daisy chain, pull off, four, pull off to two, pull off to open. And remember your bow and arrow idea? Like I'm tugging down to get a nice loud pull off. I'm not like just lifting off the string like that. I'm actually tugging down like I'm, like I'm pulling the bow and arrow to shoot it up into the sky. Now I'm not like exaggerating it to get a bend, but I am like pulling down on the string to get a nice, powerful sound. So pinch the six and the fourth string to that pull off, and then right after hit the sixth string again. Then my pointer finger hits the fifth string after that, so six, five. So whole measure 19 all together, three, four, And so at the very end there, what I did is I hit the fifth string and I hammered to two, but at the same time I hammered to two, I also, my thumb hits the sixth string. Hammer onto the fifth string as my thumb hits the sixth, and that's the top of measure 20. And then this part's hard too. <laughs> so I got that down, and then I immediately hit the D string open with my middle finger. I hammer on when I hit that D string onto the second fret. At the same time I hammer on, I'm hitting the sixth string. So we kind of do it twice. Right, we do it on the fifth string, then we do it on the fourth. But right after we do that hammer on and hit the thumb, I then slide to the fourth fret. So hammer on with the thumb at the same, same time, and then slide up. So from the end of measure 19, we got that hammer on, hammer on again, slide, then a hammer on again on the G string. Oh, but sorry, here it starts as a pinch. So we pinch and then hammer on. So again, from that pickup, three, four, one more time, three, four. Kind of cool, huh? And that's how I practice. Right, even if I'm just doing the beginning of that measure, I'm trying to keep it in time. Right, because that A string's on the offbeat. So that's the beginning of the measure. Try again.
then the end of the measure is six alone, another hammer on the fifth string. That's it. And then here it's out of rhythm. I'm just doing six, five, six. So the ending is. From 19. <laughs> this could have been a whole guitar lesson in and of itself, huh? Man, I'm rambling here, but it's fine. If you've gotten this far in the video and you don't want to do the ending, you don't need this, but for you guys really trying to fine tune it, this is awesome. Now, now we've got it. So from 19, real slow. Two, three, four. That's so much fun, we're gonna do it again. You get details here at Mike's Music Method. That's why they pay me the big bucks. No, they don't. Uh, two, three, four. are going to do this. It is awesome. Big hugs. Congratulations. Oh no, where's my stand? There you are. Uh, pat you on the back there. You did good. It's a hard song. Go slow with it. Take your time, little by little. And that, that opening riff is so freaking cool that you can just spend weeks and weeks playing it. Bite size though. Do, do tiny little bits and I promise after a few months, even if you're only doing like five or six of the notes every week or two. You'll slowly build on it and you'll get it. Dusty, dude, I know you'll get it. All right, slow run throughs. Slow runs. Let's do measure one and two here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> the verse. Remember, we're going to do three once and then repeat four a whole bunch of times. Two, three, four. Chorus here from measure five, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, and miss, two, three, and four, one, four, and miss, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, and miss, two, three, and four, one, and three, and four, and Often repeats, so we'll repeat from five, two, three, four. Seven, three, four. Then the song would go back to the main intro riff. You guys get it? And then back to another verse. But let's practice the alternate verse in case you like it more. So we'll do 16 and then repeat 17 a bunch. Two, three, four.
do the very end here. Measure 19 nice and slow. Two, three, four. One more time. Three, four. Yo, hi. It's, it's an open D. Five. It's an open D drone.